This is Dear Hallmark. Each week, I'll bring you reviews of your favorite Hallmark movies and TV shows. So grab a drink and let's see what we're getting into with this episode. Greetings, everyone. It is a new week. We are almost out of August. Can I get a resounding yes for summer being almost over? (laughs) You guys, I'm so over summer. I need the cool weather. I'm team turtlenecks, team blazers, team knee-high boots. Can we (laughs) team scarves? Can we bring on the fall fashion, please? I'm so over this obtrusive, intrusive, oppressive, disrespectful, inconsiderate heat, okay? And for those of you who are listening for the first time, hello, my name is Dara. (laughs) This is Dear Hallmark. This is a space where I nerd and geek out about the Hallmark Channel in all of its capacities. And specifically today, we are going to be talking about a movie. Um, I recently watched Harvest Wedding, a Harvest Wedding featuring Joe Wagner and Victor Webster. Absolutely loved it. Love them, love it. And so I asked for some more Joe Wagner uh, suggestions and you guys did not disappoint. And so here I am to deliver to you a review of Pearl in Paradise, which the accent doesn't match the location because we're in Pedro. But I was giving you her pen pal. I think I need to watch her pen pal again. Or I should just go to France. Anybody want to go to France? The south of France? Paris? France in general? <laughs> well, let's take a micro break and let's get into the review of Pearl in Paradise. All right, so Pearl in Paradise. Um, This movie came out 2018. It stars Jill Wagner and Christopher Palaha, which this is my first time seeing him in a movie, at least that I recognize, because I've heard his name thrown around a lot. So this is my first time really watching something where I know that he's in it. Can I say, he is a really good actor. Both of them are just stellar actors. Which was which is why this movie was so enjoyable to me. So the premise of this movie, Jill plays a photographer, a travel photographer. Her name is Alex. She is on. She wants to become the creative director for kind of like your Nat Geo, if you will, right? Um, it's called Natural Discoveries or something like that. And so, but she's very much a, she's all over the place. She's, she's late with her deadlines. She's late showing up to things. She's unorganized. She's not disciplined, but she takes great photos and she has a genuine passion for photography. And you find out later down the line, just how she got into photography. She realized that she could really inspire people to go out and see the world. And that's what she wants to do with her photos, which I thought was incredibly endearing and, and, and just provided another layer of depth that I could connect with when it comes to um, anything in the creative spectrum. So she wants, she's up, well not she's up, but she wants this creative director position. And so she's speaking with the editor in chief about the 30th anniversary issue. And so she decides to pitch the editor this story about um, a pearl. It's a blue pearl found in Fiji that has a legend behind it. And so what she wants to do is actually find this pearl because nobody has found this pearl. And even how she came up, well, I won't get into the the, um, particulars of that. So she decides that there's this, during her research about the pearl, she finds that there is this author, Q. Christopher Palaha's character, Colin Page. He wrote an adventure novel called Pearl in Paradise about the Fijian pearl. And so she's like, the both of us can go to Fiji He'll write the article and the the editor proposes. Let him write. He's an author. You take the photos. And she was like, well, I really saw it this way. And the editor just looking at her like, uh, sis, sis, you take photos. Let, let the dude write, okay? She's like, okay, I hear you. Um, let me go back. So throughout the course of this movie, you see 
the the strong person the strong yet different personality like the personality differences between the both of them but how they work well together and it was just really beautiful i think they have great chemistry together um and i i really appreciated that in this movie it was the woman that kind of had the free spirit instead of the guy lately a lot of the movies that i've watched the guy was always the one with the the free spirit or that was undisciplined or that wasn't um you know that was kind of all over the place it was refreshing to see it with the woman character and that the guy character was so reserved not reserved um what's the word i should use uh strict particular he had lists and schedules he was very um stark and i appreciated that and fiji was beautiful i lit it took me everything in me to not go on expedia and see how much a trip to fiji costs right now it was gorgeous um can we talk about jill wagner's wardrobe can we talk about her pink dress in the beginning and then her burnt orange number that came off the shoulders love that when they were in fiji loved that um i also let's let's dive a little bit deeper into um colin page though because another thing that I appreciated that we also saw in a little daytime drama is a bit of vulnerability when it came to Colin and why he writes and um, what, why he omitted certain things when talking to Alex about the Pearl. And I don't want to spoil anything, um, but I just appreciated the vulnerability that he, that they allow the character to show as a man because you don't see that too often normally it is expected of our men to be kind of these stoic he can handle everything type of people and we have to remember that men are human beings that they have emotions they have insecurities they have vulnerabilities maybe not as much as women but even if even if so it's it, it may be different, but it's still there. And I think that it was beautiful that we were able to see that through this character. And I thought it was cool that he's an author. So kind of relating to him in that aspect as a an author myself. Um, I love the dude who played his new agent. <laughs> he's a He's a good actor, too. I would love to see him. And some more things and give him some more lines to see what else he can do with a script. Um, it's cool that this came out. I mean, it was only three years ago, but think they probably made over 100 movies since then. And it goes to show you when two people who have chemistry, who are really good actors, they can make a movie stand the test of time, i.e. love on the air. <laughs> That joint was six years ago, but because the quality of the script was so great, the acting was phenomenal, the chemistry was bananas, that is a movie that can stand the test of time. So this was my second Jill Wagner movie that I've watched, and I can tell you that she does some wonderful things. Much like, um, I believe I expressed this in a video with Tyler Hines and Aaron Krako, When there's an actor who can make me believe that I can act too, (laughs) and I have to keep telling myself, no, Dara, no, no, no. They just make it look that easy. That's what Jill and Christopher does. There was this one moment where he was trying to front like he knows how to climb a rope or descend on. I forget what this, is it parlaying? I forget what that term is called. When you're descending down a mountain on a rope, there's a specific term for it. But he ended up rolling down the river, <laughs> like just rolling down the mountain. And he hurt himself. And just the whole scene of him getting his bearings, like it, he just did a wonderful job. Now, I'm very curious to see how their chemistry translates into a mystery setting. Because another popular suggestion that I received from people when I asked about other Jill Wagner projects was Mystery 101. 
Now, I'm not a Hallmark Movies and Mysteries watcher, um, only during Christmas time, but I, I am going to make that venture into Hallmark Movies and Mysteries land, and I'm definitely going to check out a couple of Jill Wagner's mysteries, the Mystery 101s. And I definitely also plan to check out Aurora Tea Garden as well, because that was something that people kept bringing up uh, was Aurora. But you guys, I would, if for a crown rating for this movie, I would totally give it four crowns for sure. I do think there were some things, like, I don't think it was perfect, but I think it was good quality. It was definitely good quality. And uh, I appreciate Jill's work. I appreciate Christopher's work. And I look forward to watching more of their movies and kind of going into into their Hallmark filmography, if you will. So we are going to take another micro break. And I'll be right back. Well, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me on this week's episode of Dear Hallmark. I know we have a new movie coming up this week. It's called Journey of My Heart. And it stars one of the supporting actresses from A 27-Hour Day, Rhiannon Fish, and a guy that we've seen cameo in a couple of movies. He was in Chateau Christmas. And I think he was in, I forget the other one he was in. But um, now this is his first lead role. His name is Darian Martin. Um, and this was an acquired project from Hallmark. But be sure to look out for my review for that. That will be on YouTube and Instagram. And for those of you who are listening for the first time, I so any of the new release Hallmark movies, you'll find my review and reaction of those on YouTube in video form. For the podcast, um, this is just me giving my thoughts on backlog titles of Hallmark movies as I begin my exploration through all that Hallmark has to offer. So as I said, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of the Dear Hallmark podcast. If you want to drop a line, say what's up, um, give a suggestion for another movie I should review, or just want to leave a comment about a Hallmark movie or TV show that you like, there is a link in the show notes that will take you to a page where you're able to leave one minute's worth of your thoughts that could get played here on the podcast. Um, I've played one from Danielle and one from Anne already. And I look forward to hearing from others to hear you guys' thoughts about different Hallmark Channel TV shows and movies. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys next week.